That wasn't even the issue though. I got out of that. <laughs> the issue was I was coming back up. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you think it's going to take some catastrophic event to kill you out here mowing grass for a living, nope. Something this small could be the end of you. <laughs> we'll get right into it. The fuse. It blows for a reason. Your mission is to find out why it's blowing. It could be catastrophic. You could catch on fire. You could fly down a mountain and hit a tree. Let's get into it. Extremely important video, guys. Tune in for the whole thing. I almost bit the dust way down the mountain. Way down the mountain. I was almost gone. Okay, but this ground right here, super, super soggy. That wasn't even the issue though. I got out of that. <laughs> the issue was I was coming back up. And look, if this happened six stripes later, I probably would have, I mean, 100% would have been done. The mower just shut down on me. Hmm. 20 amp fuse blue or right there <laughs> while I was going. Like I said, a couple stripes later. Hmm. So look, these mower systems are made to shut down and flip that fuse and make it burn out for your safety and for the machine's safety, all right? This machine was burning and blowing through the 20 amp fuses every time I flicked the switch again, okay? Replace it with a 20 amp, hit the switch, light came on, boom, blew the fuse. So, luckily, and I encourage all you to do the same, have extra fuses in your truck, in your work box, whatever, okay? You're going to need them. So, to solve this issue of my mower being stuck on the side of a hill in the backyard, I went ahead and threw a 30 amp fuse into that 20 amp connection that did one huge thing for me it overrides the shutdown system that triggers the shutdown and the blowing it overrode that just long enough for me to get the machine the backyard to the trailer all right that's all i needed it to do and then we went to advanced auto got some more fuses said hmm maybe those fuses were just old and yucky you know Put two new more in there, pop, okay? Both of them blew right away. Obviously, we got other issues going on. I went ahead, threw the 30 amp back in there, and off to the dealership we went. Big shout out to my dealer. We called him, we went down there real quick. The mechanic came out to the truck and trailer and did all the diagnostic work on it. What he found was an easy fix, but if I would have ignored it, and just thrown that fuse in there and said, ah, it's working now, no biggie, okay? And I went mow grass, I would've caught on fire. The whole machine would've caught on fire with me on it mowing grass, okay? Extremely dangerous situation out here with every single mower type and brand. I'm gonna show you what it is and then I'll show you what we did to fix it, okay? You need to check your mowers over, all the wiring harnesses. While we were doing the diagnostics, this area of the turf tiger started smoking, which meant there was fire happening. That wear was touching the throttle cable, and the throttle cable all the way back to the engine was like over 100 degrees. This is another area that he found that wear was happening because of the way it was resting together. I will address both these issues in this video so we can all be safe and carry on. So we're going to try the new tap splices that they have out that simply just splices the wires together using that metal connection. I think that would probably be best because here is where I have to make snips. You know, I got to get that bad section out of that wire 
and not have that in there because I'm pretty sure the heat did some damage to that wire itself inside there. So we're going to snip it and we're going to use these cool little tap splices instead of having to strip the wire and get the crimpers out and all that good stuff that goes with it. And then we'll take these 20 amp fuses and a new 5 amp and we'll show you how to put the fuses in and we'll hope it works. So here you can see the throttle cable and down here where it comes out down here the wiring it was compressing those wires and it ended up arcing and sending that signal to the fuse which shut down the whole machine before it set on fire all right so we're going to put this back together before we put it back together and fire it up i'm going to show you the other two things we talked about the rubbing wire that happened at the starter and the placement of the fuses. Pretty simple stuff, but hey, take a look. So right here is where the rubbing was happening and it is the two starter wires that were rubbing together. You can see right here, that's where they were touching. So I went ahead and insulated it with some electrical tape right now because there was no damage to that wire, just a spot that I could tell. And the thing is, so if those two wires were to touch together after rubbing through the covering, <laughs> the starter would automatically start, stay on until it burnt up 30 seconds later. So if I was mowing grass when that happened, I would have had no idea but I know I would have been calling Skag and like, yo, I need another starter. How much is that? <laughs> yeah. This is an issue on all mowers. I promise. Take a look at yours tonight, tomorrow morning. Look it over. So right here is where the fuse goes. On the Skag Turf Tiger 2, this is the 5 amp on the side. You just undo that clip and it slides out. That is where the 20 amp is for the Sky Turf Tiger. Okay, so three days later, after that fix video that I just showed you, the machine's still running good. The battery, power, the amps, everything's still doing perfect, okay? So, the fix did solve the problem. Because of the extreme heat that happened, in the whole activity, I do have to buy a new throttle cable. I ordered that. The dealer said three days, it'll be here to put on. So we'll have a cool video on setting the throttle cable on this mower. But for the most part, if you watch that video that we're gonna put out on the throttle cable adjustments and setup, that's for most throttle cables, relatively the same stuff, okay? Always remember, be good if you can. Always be kind, and above all, love each other. Always love each other. Peace, Elite Landscape style.